Hi, welcome. This is KT Samuel, your favorite snow farmer. And today I have another one for you. So people um, asked me to go watch some video and then I want to react to it today. It's concerning whether um, the greenhouse snail farm is able to contain more snails as compared to the trench housing system. So stay tuned. Please, before we go on with this video, I want you to um, call Miller Ghana Company Limited. They are snail brokers. I mean, if you're a snail farmer, reach out to them. Let them have your details in their database. And um, if you're a snail buyer, you can also reach out to them so that they can connect you. It's, they are like a bridge. So Miller Ghana Company Limited, call them. Well, so a big issue. And this video is coming from somebody or that video was coming from somebody who says that if your snail is in estivation or hibernation put the snail or drown the snail for 30 minutes 30 whole minutes and that the snail will wake up from estivation that is the person who was giving out this information now the reason why i have this box is that i want us to use this analogy right so we're imagining that you have a 20 feet by 40 feet land right now this same piece of land we are imagining that you can only create 30 pens in this land of this piece of land now if you're keeping 100 snails matured snails i'm talking about snails that are about a year oh. and a half two years old in these pens you'll be keeping about 100 per pen so 100 times the 30 pens will give you 3,000, right? And we all agree that the reason why we stick to this number and the reason why the greenhouse uh, uh, builders will tell you that we cannot keep too many snows in that house is because we all agree that it is overpopulated. And so when they lay eggs, we have to create more housing for them or we have to sell the adult snails or some of the adult snails to create room for the young snails. We all agree. Now, that same piece of land, somebody is asking you to keep 2,000 pieces of snails in there and that it's a one-time farm, 20 feet by 40 feet. The same piece of land that 3,000 snails, if we decide to add some, it will be an overpopulation. He's asking you to keep 2,000 of them there and it's a lifetime farm, so then even after three years, as they multiply, you still keep that, that greenhouse farm. Now, if you put 2,000 snails there, and averagely, each snail lays around 200 eggs. Because some of them are going to be laying 500, 400, some of them 150, 180. By the way, in my farm, this whole year, we've not counted any, any snail laying anything lesser than 200. That's just by the way. So... 200 times 200 times 2000 that will give you 400,000 eggs let me say eggs if they lay just two times in a year that is 800,000 eggs even if you lose 200,000 from not hatching and even mortality it means you are still expecting about 600,000 snails i'm talking about the akatina akatina in this 20 feet by 40 feet and so brothers and sisters that is where the problem is from they are not telling you the truth on the ground it means that that's same. it's because the same piece of land the same size so if we think that three thousand snails will be will stay here as an overpopulation why do you think six hundred thousand snails should feel comfortable in this space so i mean this sometimes you need people to take you through to to understand the lies that are actually going on in that same video he goes ahead to say that the snails um when you put their eggs in the in the trench housing system or the concrete pens they hatch better and so when they hatch and they become juvenile snails then you move them to the greenhouse so if somebody is able to inform you that the concrete pen the eggs hatch better there and um, their survival over there until they become juvenile for you to move them to the greenhouse is better then what what is your answer 
so this analogy same piece of land greenhouse is telling you put the whatever number of snails you have there and it's a lifetime they will be fine but when it comes to the concrete pens in that same piece of land we are not willing to go beyond a certain limit it is just like farming um goods if you want to have ten thousand goods be ready to have enough land it's as simple as that so that is why the greenhouses you do not even see the overpopulation in real time so they get hugely overpopulated they start eating each other's shell some of them die the farm owner does not even know they are dying they get rotten empty shell the other snails eat on the empty shell or feast on the empty shell and so you do not even see that your snails are dying and then that is why they lie to you and tell you that the katina katina lays 50 eggs 70 eggs maximum and that nobody can tell them 200 eggs from from one snail meanwhile we have evidence upon evidence even the uneducated people in the village will challenge you so please let us consume the right information if you want to farm a million snails be ready to have enough land if you want to have a million cattle be ready to have enough land to house a million cattle unless there, there comes a point in time where the trench housing system we think there's a way we can have them in a story form on top of each other <laughs> that i've also seen some online that i i heavily disagree with the way it was built but until then where we come up with this, some some of these smart things please let us be cautious and farm snails the right way i hope this makes sense to you let's 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 seek knowledge from the right people i'm always available you can reach out to me my name is katie samuel and please subscribe to thank you for watching bye bye